What do you think about this man, the first? In Brasher? Yeah. Uh, a sad old man. Sad old man. Yeah, yeah me too. Looks sad. I, I have a whole uh, shelf, you know, just lined up with all, you know, statues, words, and blah, blah, blah. And, and, uh, it's, and one thing you notice, that all these awards for art, all of the statues are terrible looking. And you, and you think you know, they would be better, but no. <laughs> I guess they don't look enough like an award otherwise, you know. Now, want me to look at the photographs yeah, yes. and see and what I say? Exactly. And see what I think? Right. Yeah. Like, when, if you look at this man, what comes in your mind? I think that he's an elderly man that's very intelligent. Mm. I, I think my motives here was, um, on the third trial, just to do something that nobody could argue with, you know, give, you know, and usually people do argue when you do it that way. I've learned in the past. He looks Norwegian or Scandinavian, and uh, he looks like a writer. Oh, it's a paradox. Uh, I think um, for me, simplicity is uh, a paradoxically complex, also, but it looks simple. <laughs> Let me see, who you remind me of? Uh, I don't know, um, some person from the mountains of the Himalayas or something? A wild man from the Himalayas of the mountains. Just have a, a big black rectangle, the same width, and, and, and I remember to say, no more boring art, and then Daniel thought it might be taken as a critique, as some of the artists might have been sensitive that I was talking about them and not me, you know, myself. Um, strangely Gandalf. Um, is that strange? No. Okay. You can yeah. say anything strange. Uh, okay, well, the, the actual first thing I was going to say was um, uh, Santa Claus, but he doesn't look that heavy. But uh, the next thing was Gandalf. <laughs> There's a term now we call information overload. It, this is too much to process. Like he's, he's seen a lot. He's been through a lot and probably has some stories to tell. I don't know, is he a botanist maybe? Well, he lives in the country doing something, probably writing or something, because he's not, you know, he's not presentable to work in a deli in the city or anything. Carpenter. He looks like the man who played Socrates in uh, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. How do you sift the information and deal with the, the, mo the most important information and, and how do you uh, how do you categorize it? How do you how, how do you prioritize it? You know, what, in other words, what's out of ten things, what's the most important thing? <laughs> I was going to say he could conceivably be homeless. I feel like this man's an artist of some sort. I have one question. Yeah, sure. Can you define art? No. <laughs> I have one answer. <laughs>